Now here we need to verify that the three points uh, which coordinates are given to us they are collinear. So let us begin. So here what we'll do, uh, we'll name the three points. Let's say A has the coordinates 5, 1. We have the other point B with coordinates 1, negative 1. And we have the point C with coordinates 11, 4. Let's do one thing. Let's join point B and point C with the help of a straight line. And that's going to give us the line BC. Our goal will be to determine the equation of the line BC. To find out the equation of line BC, we'll use the two-point form of a line. The two-point form of a line states that if we have a line passing through two points, x1, y1 and x2, y2, then this equation can be given by this particular form. So here, we will consider B as equivalent to, let's say, x1, y1. And we'll consider C to be equivalent to x2, y2. Okay, let's do one thing. So we will substitute the value of x1, y1 and x2, y2 with the corresponding values. And we need y minus y1. So y1 will be the y coordinate of point B. So that's negative 1. This will be equals to. Now we need y2 minus y1. So we have 4 minus negative 1 in the numerator divided by 11 minus 1 in the denominator that this value will get multiplied to x minus x1 so here x1 will be positive 1 right so we have y plus 1 equals to so 4 minus negative 1 that's 5 we're 5 divided by 11 minus 1 that's 10 so we have this multiplied to x minus 1 now we have 2 times y plus 1 so this 2 comes from because 5 times 1 and 5 times 2 is 10 so we have 2 times y plus 1 equals to x minus 1. This gives us 2y plus 2 equals to x minus 1. Let's rearrange the term. So we have x minus 2y equals to 3. So this is the equation of the line BC. Now in order to show that the points A, B and C are collinear, it means that the three points must lie on the same line, which means that that point A must also lie on this same line. If it lies on the same line, then it must satisfy this equation. So here we have the point A, 5, 1. So this simply tells us that the value of x coordinate, that's 5, the y coordinate, that's 1. So let's uh, substitute this value into our left hand side of the equation of line. So we have 5 minus 2 times 1. So that's going to give us 5 minus 2, which is equals to 3. And this is indeed the expression on the right hand side, or the value on the right hand side, that's 3. So we can say that the points A, B, and C are indeed collinear. That means they are going to lie on the same line. So hence, we have successfully proved the problem.